All right, what's up guys? Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're replacing that R12 compressor. Didn't think we we're gonna get it. Kind of didn't really want it right now, mostly because of uh, how backed up I am, how busy we've been. So we're here today. Don't have anything else scheduled. So we're gonna try and get knock it out. I don't wanna waste a day like this, even though I'm like super tired. Uh, you got to deal with it. So all we're going to do on this unit is going to pressure test it first because I gave them a uh, kind of a free quote or estimate last time, which was replacing the compressor. But I told them if there's a leak, we got to check that first. Right. So at that point, um, leak test first, if everything looks good, then we'll continue because I don't know what the previous tech did or the previous companies. So we're gonna go with the JB uh, digital manifold just to get a, an accurate reading, a quick pressure test. We're gonna have our nitrogen here. It's off. We're gonna open that up and open this up. And then we're zeroed out already. I'm gonna just add some through the high side. So we're gonna go to Sure everything's tight first uh, this is test it's rubbed out but it's test we're open here um, I can let some in through the suction first I need to open up I think the high side I'm not gonna go super high. Let's see where that kind of drops off and settles and if it just keeps dropping or stays put. All right, so we're losing some PSI and I sprayed everything. So that's expected. So yeah. Let me seal this up and then we'll see if, uh, if we still have a leak. All right, so we let out the pressure here. We closed the valve, backseated it, and we're not getting any more leak. So everything's just inside the system and the valve is not being used right now. So we cannot reuse this valve or I've come across some where you just have to quickly check it and then close it and, and remove it. Like get a get a quick check on your pressure and then um, take it off because if not everything will leak out. So that's going to be this instance. But I'll try and put another um, high side service port, maybe on the the outlet over here, so we can check over there and just kind of eliminate this valve at least. But we still keep the the receiver, and it hasn't really moved. It was a two twenty. So we'll just keep an eye on that for a few more minutes, make sure it doesn't drop and just get started. Man, we are still losing steadily, you know, a little bit here and there. It's uh, about a PSI over five minutes or so. So I might have to go downstairs and check. There it goes. There we are. All right, so I knew there had to be another leak. Kept going. To me, that's repairable. So I'm gonna take our torch set. I saw two U-bends. I'll just make sure we kind of mark them or make note of which ones they are um, before I take the nitrogen out. That way I patch, you know, two or three of them, uh, just the ones that are leaking. I'm not gonna go overboard with it. And then install the compressor, get them going. Uh, everything else should be fine. It's an older system. You're going to deal with these little 
quirks here and there if uh you know we can get them by for a while they wanted to pay for it so you know just i'll, I'll fix it So I think we're holding pressure. Yeah, actually we're going up in pressure. So we started at 114, it's actually gone up. Yeah, it's still going up. So it's building up pressure if anything. Uh, I'm gonna let it ride a few more minutes. I'm gonna go down, double check with bubbles. But if we got it, perfect. Put the new one in, wire it in, vacuum and charge. And then they're gonna have, or it's gonna limp by for uh, maybe another couple years. I don't know. All right, so I still got to clean everything up. I just wanted to see how it looked. So we got a coupling there using the same way that it came in. And then we just cut back because it ran over here, cut it back, and then we put it directly there. And then uh, I don't want to deal with any extra ports. So we are going to pinch that off and just solder over it. And then right now I'm going to go see what I have for this. I should have picked up a quarter inch. I wasn't even paying attention last time but we'll put in something and then put in a port somewhere. All right, uh, prep is the hardest part. So I cut one side out, I had to unsolder the other side. We're gonna push that back a little bit. I have these uh, reducers. So we're gonna go from three eighths, this is all I have, to that piece there. And then 
push push that back and get our other end and solder just make sure we solder it up good Uh, it's gonna take a little getting used to, but I mean, it it worked. Oh, I missed a little piece. Could have sworn I checked it. Uh, missed another piece right there. Everything else is good. So I got two, two, do, two more to do. All right, no big deal. Just go in and kind of smooth that out. Solder will go to the heat. So we got everything squared away and finally pressure test take a break do our vacuum and start getting our wiring in all right i'm just looking for a cool 200 so i'm gonna go drop some things down there's a convenience store next door i'm gonna go get some like gatorade take a little break so it settled around 204 and then like we lost like what half a psi and it's going like down and up a little bit so I'm gonna call it there. We're gonna let everything out, the nitrogen, and then start the vacuum while I, um, you know, wire it up. This is always a scary part, right? Putting away your torches, but our, our pressure's holding. Um, this tip gets very hot. I'm trying to get used to it. So everywhere I laid it, I ended up burning something. So just be careful, make sure it cools down. If you guys ever try this mini torch set out, I'm, I gotta get used to it. It's just a little bit different. It's like in between a, I would say a turbo torch and a oxyacetylene as far as like dialing it in and stuff. It, it It's cloudy, although the sun keeps coming out, keeps peeking through and it gets extremely hot, but it is still in the 90s with it being cloudy and stuff. I don't know if it's gonna rain again, if it, it feels kind of humid and stuff and sticky. So, um, we're getting it done, it's just hot as hell. A lot of me going back and forth. I have about an hour and a half left on the uh, quilt that I made out. I'm just gonna use the whole time. So I'm gonna take a little like 15 minute break. Went and picked up, I found the uh, Gator Light. So we're gonna try this out. Um, doesn't taste too bad. I'm used to the sugar-free stuff, but gonna rehydrate get back into it and then the pressures look fine i think my pressure test is good i'm gonna start the vacuum while i wire up uh we're gonna have to use the same panel because i gotta fit in a contactor as well so i'm gonna fit all the components the new ones in that panel rip everything out and then uh i'm gonna have to check i'm pretty sure i have a contactor to replace and everything will be new in the box just hook up the wires to the compressor and once our vacuum decay test, all that is done, then we'll charge it up. All right, I remember to charge my battery this time. So we got our new field piece core remover tools. We got the uh, BC2G and then we got the other one. Uh, that's the one without the side glass. So the basic one, the VC1 and the VC2G is gonna be my go-to so that the micron, whatever I put my micron gauge on, that's gonna be I'm gonna be able to isolate it. Normally I would have done it the other way, but for science, for the video, I, I wanna be able to show you the side gloss versus trying to cram the camera over there. So we're gonna start this, make sure all our things are nice and tight. Turn on the micron. 
And this is open, we'll start with that. So the only issue I have with these is the battery. It's it's beeping, so we're gonna have to valve it off. We're at like 600. Uh, valve this out, off. And the other one. Kind of see where we're at. It's probably gonna be like 800. I need to start cleaning up. I'm not gonna worry about getting the perfect vacuum on this system. That's just me. It took me a while to wire that in. And I gotta clean up some stuff in there and we'll start charging. So with the filled piece, you can valve off your Micron. I gotta check all my gaskets. I know I'm messing up there too, but we're closed off here. Now we can start charging the system. Now we play with the pressure. So this is 134. I was worried about the fan cycle control, but it, it did kick on, so we're good. We're gonna let it level out. I just gotta bring that suction pressure up a little bit. Uh, 134 is a very low pressure refrigerant. I just don't want it to obviously zero out. Zero out, wrong one. And then we're gonna look at our uh, saturation temperatures. Just keep an eye on it. So yeah, in this in this situation, sitting in the panel here, I could have moved it a little bit more, but you know we got some funky line sets going on. So we got our valve. We're gonna open that. We're gonna push it through. It's hard to do one hand, but I do love that the end spins freely, so you can leave your thumb there and, and twist it in. The uh, the other one, the VC1, the simple one, doesn't do that. The other two do. Just keep that in mind. And it's in there. And I, I just personally like to torque it down so that I know it won't leak. And we got our uh, 134A conversion. Now they want us to check their AC. I'm out of it. I told them I'll come back. I can't, I can't. I can't do that today. They left it off. I was wondering why this never turned on. They have another one. I don't know if they have, I don't think that's theirs. I think it's just this rude and this one. So some company came and screwed them over. So uh, maybe the next video will be this one. I'll have to come back for it. I think this is Little Caesars next door. They are holding on to dear life for these, uh, their uh, AC units. Hey, some people like my little rope trick. A lot of guys recently, are, I guess, are finding them. Braided helps with uh, just weight distribution or something, and I can let it slide through my hands and it won't burn as much as I'm lowering like heavy stuff. So like lowering the refrigerant tanks and stuff like that, I can hook them down and then release it. Like I can, you know, shake it off and bring it back up to the roof without having to go up and down. This is the last thing, this is my wrencher. I'm um, using it as like a trash bin and all the extra tools like my core tools are in there and for this one it's gonna it's gonna be the last thing that I'm sending down so I always put a, a giant carabiner on the other side still gotta mount the sensing bulb for the TXV but uh that looks beer can cold to me I wanted to clean up more but I'm just doing what I can to get them by and obviously they're gonna want us to come back and do more work so 
I'll come back with some insulation on that. And so I like, it's working. It's, I waited till I got to like mid forties. It's a small box. It didn't take too long, but I had to go. It was already exceeding the time that I gave myself, um, which is not a horrible thing. Like sometimes I'll stay an extra half hour, which I kind of did just to make sure the unit's working and all that. Um, because the last thing I want is a damn callback. I'm not too fond of, of 134A, but it works. It matched up. Um, yeah, we, we did everything we could just to get it going. At, at this point, anything else, I don't know how much more is repairable on it. You know, next thing would be like, you know, we, we should talk about a new unit. So I just got it by. They were super happy right because they didn't want to pay for a new system at the time now it's a small family run like restaurant specialty restaurant so like you know if they stay open great they've been there for a long time so obviously they've been open for a reason but a lot of the small businesses are not dishing out cash to to buy new units they just want you to come in and fix what they got so that's why I was a little leery of doing it. I, again, this was uh, another video that I had where I said I had to do it as a, as a favor just to kind of get right with uh, a buddy of mine that has since given me a couple more uh, calls. And I'm now in that, that call list, whatever it is of his, um, if he, if he needs something, cause he deals with construction and new builds and remodeling and, and stuff like that to where I can be one of the guys he calls. So this was one of the favors. We got it going. Um, I am gonna have to go back, even though this was not one that I was looking forward to and it was hot, you know, it's cloudy and it got, it got more cloudy after I left. I wish this would have been how it was at the end, but um, it's hot. Just remember to stay, if you're gonna do stuff like this, just like if you're on a rooftop for hours, if you're in a attic, and it's already summer, you know, that summer weather, just stay hydrated. I got, I went through like two Gatorades. The dude gave me a big, uh, big cup of water. So, you know, he was, he was looking out for me and, um, stay covered. I, I could have taken my umbrella, but take care of yourself, take a break, you know, all that stuff. Cause I have not been feeling good lately to begin with, but it, I don't know. I, I haven't been able to sleep. Uh, big headaches so I need to work on my hydration and my sleep pattern uh, before summer hits and we get you know like uh, overwhelmed which at that point you're just gonna get burnt out I'll be back I'll check their AC they said the the previous company I'm not sure if it's the same guy that tried to sell them or or do what which I like I completely understand when you have a R12 system and you're trying to sell them on something I completely understand that is not that is not what I'm, I'm not bashing him for that. It's just, I was put in a, in a predicament where I offered it because I offered a repair because I was trying to be nice, right? Like it is, it was repairable. We, we fixed a few leaks in the evaporator. Um, there is a leak on the receiver, which I could just shut off. Uh, as long as you don't use it, it won't leak. And we had a shorter compressor. We fixed that, replaced all the starting components, a contactor, all that stuff in there. And yeah, um, it can be done. That's why our whole motto is, you know, we fix things around here because it, it can be done. It's just, is it in their best interest? So like at this point, they were happy with the price. They, they paid it. You know, we made, I made good money because I, I priced it but I ended up using the whole time. I priced it high, but I used uh, basically the whole five hours um, just cause I had to pressure test it, leak test it, find the leaks, do half, do a lot of work in the evaporator to do that, find the other leak, all of that before I even got to the compressor and then prep time cause it's, it wasn't piped the same. It's not the same compressor, a lot of prep time. So like all that took time. I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta get a lunch. I worked through lunch pick up my lunch go to the next call just uh like i said we just have to reset some stuff hope you guys enjoyed the video i know i didn't show 
everything. It was just, I was having a hard time. I'm not going to say I was passing out or anything like that. I just had a hard time concentrating and, you know, let alone holding a phone. I didn't set anything up, but holding a phone and recording like five hours worth of work, like that's not possible. And I was getting, uh, you know, pretty tired today. So showed what I could, explained what I could. And uh, like I said, hopefully you uh, all enjoyed the video, got something out of it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, help the channel out, you know, help it grow. I really enjoy where everything is right now. I appreciate you guys for uh, tuning in. See you guys.